Hello, for those of you that are new to this channel or just stumbled upon this video, my name is Craig and Zana. I am an artist. I paint. You see my paintings back here. I'm actually a relatively new artist. I've been painting since December 2016, so I would consider myself an amateur for sure. I have sold some pieces and I have done some commissions, um, and in this video I'm going to talk specifically about the Raw Natural Born Artists Showcase since I did one of those and I'm going to be doing another one in December. I'll give you kind of the lowdown on what it's actually like and what I think about it. I'm also the president of a board at a local art gallery, so I have kind of a little bit of behind the scenes knowledge about the art world, uh, how exhibitions work, those type of things. We're a pretty small gallery, but I've been studying bigger galleries for quite a while to kind of, you know, learn how to do things better for us. So there's a lot of mixed opinions around the raw artists showcases. Basically every single friend of mine that's an artist has been invited to the showcase at one point or another. Uh, I actually only knew two that had actually went ahead and done it. They had okay things to say about it, but Really, they everyone just fixates on the cost. It is an expensive showcase to be part of. Basically, everyone else that had been invited either did not do it because it was too expensive or because they just flat out thought it was a scam. So I'm gonna talk a little bit about that. But I really wanted to find out for myself. So when I got the invite, I went ahead and said yes and I did it. So this video is gonna go through uh, my experience with the showcase, kind of what they are in general, and give you an idea if you're an artist, whether or not it's a good fit for you. And if you're not an artist, maybe it gives you a nice little uh, behind the scenes look at what artists are constantly uh, dealing with on the back end. So what is RAW? In case you're not familiar, RAW Natural Born Artists is a for-profit organization that puts together multidisciplinary art shows in a bunch of cities throughout the world. A lot of them are in the US, but they're expanding pretty rapidly internationally. They also have a huge website dedicated to artist profiles. They have a really awesome industry podcast that I highly encourage you check out if nothing else and they also have merchandise and a bunch of other things from their website they say their mission is to serve independent artists with tools resources education and exposure needed to thrive and succeed in their creative careers raw showcases indie talent in visual arts film fashion and accessory design, music, performance art, beauty, and photography. RAW is a fun alternative way to get creatives to showcase their work to their local community and the world at large. We are not your average art show. We are loud, colorful, creative, and it's all about the artists. We are RAW. Now that's pretty true. Honestly, they are very unique showcases. Nothing like the stuffy showcases that you'll go to when you are looking at traditional galleries. Uh, and a lot of other galleries are actually kind of adopting these kind of things, bringing in live music, like more modern music. But these are, you know, they have a DJ, they have a fashion show, they have models, they have, the one that I went to was held in a club. So it's totally different than your average art show and it definitely attracts a different type of audience. So who can showcase at a raw, art showcase. Really, it's pretty wide open. Technically, you have to submit in order to be accepted, but I don't know anyone that has submitted and not been accepted. I think you'd have to have really bad artwork or basically no presence at all online to not be considered. And even then, they probably consider you. I had signed up for their website prior to being invited to one of the shows. I had signed up years ago when one of my friends was in it just to kind of see what it was all about. And it was, I actually had signed up as a filmmaker, so I wasn't signed up as a painter at all. They had no idea that I was even a painter. But I know plenty of artists who weren't signed up on the website and just got invites because they have their work out on social media. The invite email I received was pretty much word for word the same exact email that all of my artist friends got. It says, hi, my name is blah, blah, blah. I'm for the curation team, an international independent arts organization that hosts quarterly showcases in 60 cities around the city. I found a collection, the collection of your incredible artwork on Facebook and thought it would be an unforgettable asset to our upcoming showcase. I'm truly obsessed with how beautiful and delicate your bold and surrealist artwork is. Now that, you know, they would have had to actually look at my work to at least get the idea that it's kind of surrealist artwork. I receive stuff from other people all the time that are like, I love your colorful artwork, the vibrant colors you use. And I'm like, have, have you seen my artwork? <laughs> I don't, I literally paint mostly black and white portraits. So I don't understand how they uh, would think that obviously it's a copy and pasted message. But yeah, I think that this is one of the reasons that a lot of people think they're a scam. And honestly, they're not doing themselves 
a favor because there's a lot of scams out there. Like I said, people sending me stuff about my vibrant, colorful artwork is obviously... I wouldn't even say it's a scam. I understand because I've had to hold events and bring people and invite people. And the way that these events work, they have to have a constant stable of new artists because the whole thing is new artists at a pretty large scale. They're doing over 60 cities. Each showcase has 20 to 70. The one in LA that I'm going to has 70 or 80 artists. So that's a lot of people quarterly, four times a year to be churning through to get to come into these showcases. And the only way to do that is a numbers game. So how much does it cost? The uh, raw showcases aren't really appropriate for really established artists. They are totally transparent about that. They say that they are for new artists to get their work out there, to do their first showcase. Almost all of their marketing material is around this being their first showcase. Almost everything that they talk about uh, in the behind the scenes stuff when they're talking to you as an artist talks about it being your first showcase. The, the more experienced artist is not the target market. When you're more established as an artist, you'll get paid for showcases, you'll get paid for exhibitions and galleries. Not always, there's definitely exceptions to everything, but that's why I think a lot of the more experienced artists that I know get real mad when they get these emails. I get it because in their world, which is totally different than the world of someone who's just started painting two years ago and is just trying to get their name out there. It does seem like a scam to them. And why would they pay for something like that? But the raw art shows I would compare less like an art exhibition. I mean, technically like the environment is like an art exhibition, but they operate more like a craft show. I've done a lot of those. My mom does crafts, so I've, I've been to those before. And there you pay a fee to attend just to be there, but any money that you make off of your artwork is yours. So the thing with a lot of gallery exhibitions is if you sell artwork there, they're gonna take commission off of it. That's how galleries make their money. Where with the raw art shows, you go, you pay them the upfront fee, it's kind of a little bit of a win-win, I think, because they don't have any risk then, because if you go, don't sell any art, whatever, and it's a win for you because then you can go, you know your fee's paid, and then it's just all about selling your artwork or doing commissions in my case. The interesting thing about Raw, and again, one of the reasons I think people think it's a scam because it kind of reminds me of the multi-level marketing type stuff is the way that they will waive part of your fee if you sell so many tickets. So basically, if you sell 20 tickets, you don't pay anything to be there. Anything over 20 tickets that you sell, you actually get a percentage. So I don't know, let's say the tickets are $22, you get $10 per ticket. But up until 20, you're basically covering the cost of the show. I sold, I think, 15 tickets and then had to pay a little bit extra. I think I paid a little under $100 or a little over $100, which for me was okay. I have a pretty decent full-time job, so I can see how this is not, it's weird because you know, it's for new artists, but most new artists aren't gonna be able to afford this or wanna invest that kind of money into their art career. And at the same time, the artists that could afford this, this is kind of beneath them. So it's kind of a catch 22. It really works well for artists that have other professional careers like I do. In addition, that also gives the artists an incentive to help promote the show, which I know from organizing events, getting people to actually come to a show, no matter how cool it is, there's just so many other things going on at any given time. I love people that are like, there's nothing going on in my town or city. It's like, try to hold an event and find out how many other events are going on at the same exact time, especially when they have to pay to go to it. It is a really cool event. I would go to one of these showcases just to go and experience it because it's a cool, fun event and you get to meet a lot of cool artists and a lot of cool people. But if you don't know that, uh, and, and especially if you're more of a collector or an art appreciator, it's hard to get those people to come. So as a artist, all of these artists are gonna know all kinds of different people, friends and family and potential collectors. And like I had a few people come that are um, kind of arts people in Pittsburgh. My trouble was that I live in Dubois, which is about two hours away from where the actual showcase was. So getting people from Dubois to go down there, I did. Thank you so much. Have a few people come the whole way down there, which was awesome to see them there. I had some support from my family, my partner, and then some of my friends from work all came. So that was really awesome. And then some friends from the city came. Um, and some of them had gotten to go in for free because they had done showcases through Raw in the past. And the heater just kicked on. So there's gonna be a weird background noise if you can hear that. So is it hard to sell tickets? Like I said, it's generally hard to sell tickets for anything. Price for the tickets are about $22 pre-sale tickets, like they go up to $30 if you try to buy them at the door. Event tickets are hard to sell. No matter how good the event is, wow, there's just all kinds of noises going on. No matter how good the event is, most of the time people don't decide about events until the day of. So pre-sale tickets are really difficult to sell for anything. So after only selling a few tickets for the first couple days, <laughs> the noise just keeps getting louder. This is the heater. 
so I mean I'm thankful for the heat but it's just like I thought that it was making the noise that it was going to and then it just made more noise and then now it's just making more noise so just, we're just gonna have to deal with it so after only selling a few tickets the first couple days I realized I had to add some kind of extra incentive because the big issue was a lot of people wanted to support me but they couldn't actually make it to the show a lot of them live in Austin Texas one of my cousins lives in Lancaster and he wanted to support me. Lancaster, Pennsylvania, it's on the other side of the state. So yeah, they, I mean, they live all over the place and there was no way that I was gonna get everybody that wanted to support me to the show. Um, and I didn't want them to just buy tickets just to support me, even though some did offer to do that. So in addition, uh, or instead of attending the event, anyone who purchased a ticket got a 12 by 12 limited edition print of my most popular piece. You can see that on, it's actually not here. I have it in a gallery. You can see that in the blog post and that is my one colorful piece which so maybe I should make some more colorful pieces normally I would sell those for 40 plus dollars so for buying a ticket for $20 it was a pretty good deal and I still didn't sell enough tickets that I needed like I said I still had to pay a little bit of cash anyway so if you're an artist tight on money it's probably not a good idea to do these art shows unless you're sure you can sell enough prints or pieces to cover the uh, the show as a whole on that note let's talk about real quick making money at the show that's what almost everybody asks me oh did you sell a lot at the show and that's kind of a tough question especially for me i don't sell a lot of original artwork i'm not an established artist i mean a lot of artists don't sell a lot of original artwork especially early in their career i actually didn't sell any pieces of art at the show. Pretty quickly after I got there, I realized I had a little bit more experience than a lot of the artists there, so I had my art priced way higher. You know, they were pricing pieces like this at like 20 bucks, which is what my prints, that's half of what my prints cost. And you know, maybe I do have my work a little overpriced, but I kind of would rather have it at what I think it is worth um, and I put a lot of thought into how I'm pricing work as far as how much time I put into it, how much studying I've done on the craft and comparing it to other artists that have, you know, I mean, I'm still pricing it for the same size piece, like half of what someone that has like twice as much experience as I do. So I think that's a pretty fair price. Regardless, I was way overpriced to sell any artwork at that Thing. I wasn't gonna change my prices in the middle of the show though. The sweet price point at the show seemed to be around the 10 to $25 mark. There were uh, some artists that, and especially photographers that had prints available in that price range and they sold a ton. The booth beside me was selling left and right. Um, there was a metallic piece that I actually wanted to buy and it sold out like immediately. So obviously I would say that she probably sold enough to at least get close to paying for the cost of the show, if not surpass it and make a profit. I did, however, make money on the showcase. Uh, I got two commissions out of the showcase. Both of those commissions, once those are done, will have more than paid for the show. I mean, that will have tripled what I paid for the show. I also painted live during the event. It was a really hectic environment to be painting in, but uh, I certainly got the attention of everyone that was passing, and that was actually the guy that wants me to do that family thing. He saw me painting and was like really into it. Uh, the resulting painting was really cool. I auctioned it off and a friend of mine who came with me to help was the one that got it. He's super stoked about it, so I'm excited about that. And it was just a fun challenge to try to finish that in the few hours that I had at the show. Um, it was kind of one of the fastest paintings I've done when I've sped up how fast I paint after that because I realized, oh, if I focus and just do it, I don't have to split it up into a bunch of different segments. So the big question is, would I do it again? Would I do another Raw Artist Showcase? The answer is yes. And I am. As part of participating in the Raw Artist Showcases, you get to do what they call the Tour Incentive, which is a free show in another city. It has to be in another city. I was invited to do the downtown Los Angeles show, and I have a lot of friends in Los Angeles. I know a lot of people in Los Angeles. I've been wanting to go to Los Angeles for quite some time. So I was like, sure, yeah, I'll do that. Uh, so I get to go to that show for free. If I sell any tickets for it, I just make the money off those tickets. And yeah, I mean, obviously I have to pay to travel there. I hope this was helpful. Uh, I'm in no way affiliated with raw artists or raw natural born artists. I just, there's, there's a cat. I'm in no way affiliated with uh, raw natural born artists. I just want to share this information because I know a lot of people are really confused about it. And I wanted to just be really... Uh, raw and honest about it. So I hope this was helpful. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions. There's also a blog post version of this which shows the pictures uh, and those versions in the description. Thank you for watching. Bye.